With the S&P 500 at 5,200, unemployment at 3.9%, home prices nearing all-time highs, and inflation at 3.48%, there isn't much evidence to suggest that the economy is in trouble. However, recent developments in one corner of the finance world are raising eyebrows. Freshly analyzed data indicates another side to the story, where the consumer is struggling. Outside of real estate, stocks, and wages, consumer spending is arguably the most crucial part of the economy, accounting for about 70% of U.S. economic activity. This substantial piece of the economic pie is essentially the entire economy, and new data suggests it may be in a serious downturn. Several unique companies have reported earnings in recent weeks, hinting at brewing troubles in the macro environment. For instance, Etsy's Q1 earnings report emphasized that something is amiss with consumer behavior. The term macro was mentioned 11 times, underscoring the macroeconomic pressures reducing consumer spending. The main takeaway is that consumers are financially strained, often having little money left after covering essentials like food, fuel, housing, and childcare. Etsy, which operates in the discretionary sector, is a key economic indicator. When consumers have surplus cash, they purchase non-essential goods like customized wooden wall maps. Conversely, when finances are tight, these items are the first to be cut, signaling early economic downturns. This is well known to investors who have been selling for years. Since its peak in November 2021, Etsy's stock has fallen by over 70% and by nearly 50% since 2023. The market's awareness of the weakening consumer strength suggests further declines may be imminent. Etsy isn't alone in feeling this wave of reduced consumer spending. Starbucks is also struggling. In its latest report, the coffee giant noted ongoing issues, especially in major markets. Starbucks has seen significant market decline since its peak in 2021, with a 39% drop overall and a 27% drop since November alone. Specific figures show North American comparable store sales have declined by about 6%, a stark contrast to a 6% increase during the same period last year. One of the first luxuries people cut out during financial hardship is premium coffee. Starbucks prices have soared, with a standard summer refresher costing $6.45, a vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew at $5.75, and a small bacon and egg sandwich at $5.45. This price surge, among other issues, is causing customers to finally wave the white flag particularly in the premium retail space. The famous Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index, a key indicator since 1960, has also taken a hit. It surveys a minimum of 500 individuals monthly, covering personal finances, business conditions, and buying conditions. The index hit an all-time low in the summer of 2022 before rebounding slightly. However, the latest reading shows a massive fall, with the index dropping nearly 133% month over month, indicating a significant market shift. This, along with the earnings reports, signals that something has changed. With consumer spending making up nearly 70% of the economy, such a sudden shift raises concerns about what will happen next. Peter Schiff, in a recent interview for ENT's Business Matters, highlighted reasons to be worried. Consumer sentiment is at its lowest in six months, with a sharp drop in jobs added, rising unemployment, and low GDP estimates. Jobless claims are at their highest in eight months. According to Schiff, if consumers knew how much worse things could get, confidence would plummet further. Rising inflation and interest rates are primary concern, and the Fed's actions to combat inflation by raising rates could worsen consumer confidence. On the other hand, not raising rates could lead to higher inflation, further dampening consumer confidence. The Fed is in a tough spot, as raising rates increases government spending on interest and widens the budget deficit, while lowering rates could exacerbate inflation. Schiff suggests this shift in consumer sentiment is just the beginning of a more significant economic issue. It's evident that significant macroeconomic shifts are occurring, particularly in the premium sector, which will likely impact other spending areas. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, feel free to leave a comment below sharing your observations about the general economy.